What are the four noble truths? After six years of strenuous striving in his last life, the Buddha finally realized the truth when he attained supreme enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Bodhgaya, India. This monumental event happened on the full moon day of Visakha in 588 BC. This topic of the four noble truths is the very heart and core of Buddhism. These truths, made known by the Buddha after his enlightenment, constitute the essence of the Dhamma, teaching, pervading every aspect and every part of it. The Four Noble Truths are, the Noble Truth of Dukkha or Suffering, the Noble Truth of the Origin of Dukkha, the Noble Truth of the Cessation of Dukkha, the Noble Truth of the Path Leading to the Cessation of Dukkha. The Four Noble Truths comprise the essence of Buddha's teachings. Though they leave much left unexplained, they are the truth of suffering, the truth of the cause of suffering, the truth of the end of suffering, and the truth of the path that leads to the end of suffering. More simply put, suffering exists, it has a cause, it has an end, and it has a cause to bring about its end. The notion of suffering is not intended to convey a negative worldview, but rather, a pragmatic perspective that deals with the world as it is, and attempts to rectify it. The concept of pleasure is not denied, but acknowledged as fleeting. Pursuit of pleasure can only continue what is ultimately an unquenchable thirst. The same logic belies an understanding of happiness. In the end, only aging, sickness, and death are certain and unavoidable. The Four Noble Truths are a contingency plan for dealing with the suffering humanity faces, suffering of a physical kind, or of a mental nature. The first truth identifies the presence of suffering. The second truth, on the other hand, seeks to determine the cause of suffering. In Buddhism, desire and ignorance lie at the root of suffering. By desire, Buddhists refer to craving pleasure, material goods, and immortality, all of which are wants that can never be satisfied. As a result, desiring them can only bring suffering. Ignorance, in comparison, relates to not seeing the world as it actually is. Without the capacity for mental concentration and insight, Buddhism explains, one's mind is left undeveloped, unable to grasp the true nature of things. Vices, such as greed, envy, hatred and anger, derive from this ignorance. The third noble truth, the truth of the end of suffering, has dual meaning, suggesting either the end of suffering in this life, on earth, or in the spiritual life, through achieving nirvana. When one has achieved nirvana, which is a transcendent state free from suffering and our worldly cycle of birth and rebirth, spiritual enlightenment has been reached. The fourth noble truth charts the method for attaining the end of suffering, known to Buddhists as the Noble Eightfold Path. The steps of the Noble Eightfold Path are right understanding, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort right mindfulness and right concentration. Moreover, there are three themes into which the path is divided, good moral conduct, understanding, thought, speech, meditation and mental development, action, livelihood, effort, and wisdom or insight, mindfulness and concentration. 